Hey YouTube. So here comes a well, a colossal pain in the butt, but if you um have to take a state space um matrix and convert it to a transfer function, here's how you go about doing it. So you follow this litmus here, which the next thing I'm gonna write is gonna be better for you to I mean you can you can derive this from this, but this is just the easy way. C times S identity matrix minus A B where this matrix is A, this is B, this is C. D is just a matrix of zeros in this case. So you might notice in this uh, setup there's a U of T here. U of T in this one, this problem is the step function, which just makes it even worse. But let's go about doing this. So the very first thing you have to do is get this. So the S identity matrix is simply, well in this case because it's a 3 by 3, S, 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 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you're minusing A from that. So in order to do that, well sorry, when you do that you get S plus 3, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, S plus 6, negative 1, S minus 5. And you could tell how much your teacher likes you based on how many zeros he puts in the matrix. <laughs> so there's SI minus A. So we're going to need the determinant of that. So let's just go ahead and do that. So you take this value and multiply the determinant of this. So you get S plus 3 times, let's just do a little side scratch. You have tons of side scratch when you do these. S squared plus S minus 30. So that's going to be multiplied by S plus 3 which gives you S cubed plus S squared minus 30 S plus 3S squared plus 3s minus 90. Where's my eraser? Here we go. So you can simplify this to s cubed plus 4s squared. Uh, what's that? That is minus 27s minus 90. Now, you then subtract this times, you exclude this row, this column, that's zero. Good, and that's zero. So, this is your determinant. Success. Now, you need to transpose this, which is a little bit of a pain, but here's the method I use. So I just say matrix transpose. It doesn't matter what you do. You can take this column and just rotate it up here and take this second one and rotate it here and third one and rotate it there or you could do you know the opposite you could take this go down this go down you know like that whichever suits you so I'm gonna do this because I mean it comes out the same okay but you're not done so there is a formula where it's uh, if your row and column are even, the sign does not change. If they're odd, they do. So in this case, it would be 1, 1, even doesn't change. 1, 2 changes. You could do that, or you could just memorize that a diagonal has to be positive, and then they alternate. So that means positive, positive, positive. So it goes positive, negative, positive. Positive, negative, negative. So that means this changes positive, negative, positive. So this changes. Alright, so now you have your transposed matrix, but you need SI minus A inverse. So, you've already got the denominator, that's this guy. The numerator, and it's a bit of a pain, <laughs> just letting you know. 
it's taking the determinant of the transpose matrix but ignoring this the, the value you're multiplying. So up here where it was this times the determinant of these two, this value here is going to ignore this and just do this. So let's do that. So we know from up here that that value is this, and you're going to take that minus 0. Okay, so that means the first one is s squared plus s minus 30. Make sure your s's don't look like 5's, but inevitably they do. Alright, so for here, you've got exclude, exclude, that minus 0. So it's just s minus 5. That's nice. Here, you've got 1, just 1. That's also nice. How nice. Usually the ones in the middle are the annoying ones. Okay, so for this one, you've got 0. Hooray. This one, you've got 0. Hooray. Uh, let's do this one. 0. Yay. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Alright. For here, this one, you do these two, so you have more side scratch. Also, kudos if you get the Everything's Coming Up Millhouse reference. Should have made this matrix bigger. Ah, I guess I will make it bigger. Okay, two more to go. Exclude, exclude, so it's this minus 0. So s plus 3, s minus 5. Uh, it's going to be 3 minus 2s minus 15. And the last one here is s plus 3 that minus zero. Okay, so this is over the determinant, that guy. Oof, still going, man. Okay, so now we take, we've got this. Good. Now we multiply it by C. C is this. Okay, so remember your multiplication. You're going to take this, you're going to end up with it, with something that looks, you know, like this, you know, 3 in it. So you take 0 times that 0, plus 1 times that 0, plus 1 times that 0. 0, that's easy. Now, do it for the next one. So you've got 0, 1, 0. So it's just this. Last one, 0, 1, that. These two have to be added together. All right, what's that? That's s squared plus 10s plus 21. Okay, now you take this, which is now csi minus a transposed, or well, inverse, sorry, and you have to multiply it by b. So you're going to get one single entity. Also, sorry, everything here is divided by this but it's easier if you just leave it out and put it in at the end. It will confuse you otherwise. So you know there's a step function. So, I dragged it down too early. That is basically saying that this matrix is 0, 1 over s, 1 over s. So we have to multiply that here. So, that means we're going to have 0 plus this times 1 over s plus this times 1 over s. So you add those together and you get 2s squared plus 8s plus 6 over s, and that's over this entire thing here. So in order to get rid of the s, I'll just get rid of it now, you multiply top and bottom 
by s. So that means your new denominator is simply everything with an extra power of s. And that is your transfer function.